This is the Monstera Leaf String Art Kit tutorial by String Art by Kaylee. To make this design, you will need the Monstera Leaf Kit, which comes in your choice of yarn color, and you will need a pair of scissors. The very first thing that we will do is take a picture of our board. We are going to be ripping this paper off and losing all of these lines, so your picture will be your reference. Once the paper is removed, go ahead and grab the organza bag and take out the two cards in there. One is a business card and one is a link to get to these YouTube videos. And then go ahead and take out that yarn bundle as well. Find the strand that is wrapped around the middle and go ahead and unravel the bundle. And the bundle is folded in half, so go ahead and find where it is folded. Once unfolded, go ahead and set the bundle right next to you, keeping that strand that was wrapped around the middle of the bundle originally. We are going to make a loop up in the air. This is how I start my knots, and then I'll just tuck it onto any one of the nails at the very bottom. Make sure you push that knot all the way down to the base of the nails. That is very important throughout the entire process. And then I like to go ahead and outline the entire piece so we can see exactly where we're stringing. And as we go, we are pushing the yarn all the way down to the base of the nails. Outlining the design first is essential so that when we are filling it in, we don't go outside of areas that we're not supposed to. You don't want to realize later on that you messed up and have to unstring the entire thing. So pay attention to your outlines. Once our outline is complete, you can see that I pushed all the yarn as far down as it will go on those nails. Now it is time to start filling in. So I'm just going to work my way up to where one of the holes in the leaf is, and then we will go ahead and outline that, as you can see right here. When filling in the leaf, there is not a certain way to do it. You can see I kind of did a pattern to start with, or else you can just jump all over with no rhyme or reason like I'm showing now. The point is just to fill in the leaf. As you watch me fill this in, I will do a pattern for certain sections and then I'll mix it up and go in different directions. It's kind of on and off. I'm just trying to fill it in. These first so many layers, it really doesn't matter the direction you go. We're just trying to go in all different directions to fill it in with the least amount of yarn. I do a solid three or four layers on each of the nails to really help fill in the design and leave no gaps. You can choose to make it more sparse if you would like. A lot of string art, you do still see the board underneath. I personally like to have it nice and full to where I cannot, but it's totally up to you. Once you have filled it up nice and solid like shown, you can leave it like this, or you can make your top layer or two all one direction. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the entire piece with vertical lines. So you can see that I'm just kind of jumping around by keeping all my lines as straight as possible, going up and down, maybe a little bit diagonal, but they all kind of flow in the same direction. There's not a super certain way you have to do this, just kind of get it all together. If you're choosing to leave it where the lines are going in all different directions, you can skip forward a little bit till I'm done with this. Once you like the look of the Monstera leaf, I like to finish with an outline. This makes the design just look very clean and polished. The second outline will be on top of the layers towards the top of those nails. It's the exact same process that we first started with, but we are jumping up to the holes and leave to give them a little outline as well, and then carrying on. When finished to tie off, I like to cut my yarn nice and long, makes it a little bit easier to make that loop. It's the same loop as before, and then we will tuck it onto one of the nails, pull it tight. Then I like to grab my scissors and trim this end to about a half an inch, and then take the end of the scissors and tuck it between the layers. This will hold your knot. And you now have a finished monster leaf. With the variegated yarn options, they all come out so unique and amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel.